what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is kyla chase and back with another video in today's video i'm going to be taking down my hair um this video was actually requested so i'ma do it <laughs> i'ma do it i'm just gonna do it you know so yeah let's just get right into the video Okay, so basically how you wrap your straight hair at night is the same way you want to unwrap your straight hair at night. So I wrap my hair this way instead of this way. Um, so I'm just going to take it off. And it's satin, so it comes off pretty easy. Or it's your, your scarf should be satin, so it should come off easily. Um, ignore all this. This is like my purses and stuff. Like some of my purses that I've been wearing during the week. So ignore that. Okay. My bad, y'all. All right. So I'm just gonna twist it, twist it, twist it like that, and it should come off. And then you just dangle your head and you just let it fall now you can either use a brush or a comb it really don't matter i use both i actually use three the comb just takes it apart for me and then the brush gets the tangles at the bottom Cause for some reason, my hair gets very, very tangled when it's straight. Like, do that be happening to y'all? My hair gets very tangled when it's straight. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all down some. And I'm going to back up. And this is what it looks like. I put some curls in it yesterday. And um, that's what gave it like the body and the volume and stuff. So. So, yeah. And you just. Brush, brush, brush. You really just want to make sure you get the ends nice and brushed out because you don't want no tangles. And yeah, there you go. Now, me personally, I don't like any parts when my hair is straight. I just like to pull my hair out to a side or where it's straight. Um... I don't really like to wear parts or anything like that. So, yeah, y'all. This is my hair. This is what I do. I does this. Learning how to do your hair yourself is definitely... Learning how to take care of your hair yourself and learning how to do your hair yourself. I absolutely love it. Y'all can go look at my past videos um, to see, like, how I handle my hair, how I care for my hair, the type of products that I use. But, um, yeah. This is my hair, all mine, all me. Um, and I absolutely love it for real. Like, I absolutely love my hair. It's really, really nice to, it's nice when you see your hard work pay off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been natural all my life, but I started doing my hair myself, like, six years ago. Back in 2015, I started doing my hair myself because my hair was falling out. You know what I'm saying? It was falling out, and it was breaking off really, really bad. I had, My bang was, like, right here. 
in high school and I can't even show you because I was so insecure about it. Um, I didn't have any hair. <laughs> I didn't take any pictures uh, during that time because I was so insecure about it. All I wore were crochet braids. Like I just would, my mom would braid my hair with little hair I had. She would braid it up and I would just wear my crochet braids until they got old and started looking raggedy that actually grew my hair so crochet braids actually grew my hair she would braid my hair all the way to the back and then she would crochet um the braiding hair now i prefer crochet braids over like wigs and stuff like that because i don't know just wearing a wig 306 365 like nah I'll, I prefer braids over like wigs and stuff, but everybody's different. However, crochet braids, they did grow my hair, you know what I'm saying? And then it wasn't no tension on my real hair because my real hair was braided down and that's what I wanted. I didn't want any tension on my real hair. So my real hair was braided down and then you just loop the, the braid on there and boom, you got hair, you know what I'm saying? So crochet styles for sure definitely gave me definitely grow your hair. Um individual braids I would say grow your hair too. I had the knotless braids and those grew my hair too. So yeah, protective styles can grow your hair. You just really have to be careful with who installs it. Um yeah you have to be careful with who's installed who, who installs it because it's like do they care about your hair are they going to you know take care of your hair are they braiding too tight are you taking care of your hair with the braids in as well um all this plays a factor you know what i'm saying i shampooed i'm sure y'all saw videos on me shampooing my braids me moisturizing my braids moosing down my braids i even put melanin hair care leave-in conditioner on my braids because this hair has to be taken care of you know what i'm saying just because you get braids or just because you get a protective style that doesn't mean you can't you you just don't do maintenance you know what i'm saying um when i took my braids down i didn't have that much build up because i was washing my hair uh i washed my hair twice yeah, I washed my hair twice. Um, and in between that, I was moisturizing my hair. I washed, I washed my braids twice. And in between that, I was moisturizing my hair as well. So, you can't just, I don't know. Girls think, oh yeah, I'm going to get this protective style. And then just not do nothing to their hair. Like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. I mean, you can do that. But you have a bunch of flakes and all that stuff. Like, you know when girls take their wigs off. And then put on another wig, but they hair be like all dandruffy and flaky and all that stuff. It's like, how do you walk out the house? Knowing that under your hair is like dandruffy and flaky. Like, that would bug the shit out of me. That will buck the shit out of me. But yeah, I mean, do my hair look... I think my hair look like a wig. Like, I've been stopped. And I have people asking, like, oh, is that is that all you? I'm like, huh? Yes. But it's like, why do you feel comfortable saying that? You know what I'm saying? Why do you feel comfortable walking up to a woman and this asking, like, is that all your hair? I don't know. But yeah, y'all. Um, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Kyla Latrice. Um, make sure you follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is Kyla Latrice98. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.